Hi again, Kipsers. This is Mr. Almeida talking to you about subtracting fractions. As you know, the rule for subtracting fractions is A over B minus C over D equals A times D minus B times C all over B times D. Let's now apply that to a special case. 3 fourths minus 1 fifth. I'm going to set that equal to 3 times 5, which is 15. That's where I'm getting my A times D from. Minus 4 times 1, which is 4. That's where I'm getting my B times C from. All over 4 times 5, which is 20. That's where I'm getting my B times D from. And denominator will be 20. 15 minus 4 is 11. And I'll check to see if this fraction can be, uh, have any common factor other than 1 and 11. And 20, I can't pull out any factor other than 1. Let me now check to see if this can be changed to a mixed number. It takes 20 pieces to make a whole, but I only have 11, so this is not going to be a mixed number. I have simplified it as best I can. The answer is 11 twentieths. Let's go on and apply the same rule for adding fractions to a mixed number. The first step in changing a mixed number is to put it into a fraction. You call those improper, but really it's just a fraction. Um, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, all over 2. Minus 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8, all over 5. Okay. Now what we're going to do is multiply. We get, one, we get 5 times 5. That's where I'm getting my A times D from. And I get 25 on the top. Subtract that from 2 times 8. That's 16 all over 2 times 5, which is 10. 25 subtract 16 is 9 all over 10. I'm checking between 9 and 10 to see if I can pull out a common factor. I can't other than 1, so I can't simplify anymore. Let me check to see if I can put this into a mixed number. It takes 10 pieces to make a whole, but I only have 9, so I don't even have a whole. 9 tenths is the answer. 